So I've mixed up a well draining soil with potting soil, traction sand, and perlite. I've put that in four different containers. I've also filled up four other containers with water. I've divided my cuttings 23 and 23, divided them evenly and pseudo randomly. So there's some that are end cuttings and some that are not in both groups. I've made my tea. Now all I have left to do is put the cuttings in the soil and the water, ideally with two nodes submerged on each cutting. Definitely need one node submerged, but I'd like to have two submerged in either the water or the soil. Now I'm going to put these in a spot where they'll get lots of indirect light, but very little direct sunshine, and see how they grow. These pothos cuttings have grown a lot since I divided them in half, put half of them in soil and half of them in the water. So I've pulled all of these pothos cuttings out of their containers, washed off all the soil, and let them all dry out a little bit. So far, I can't see a big difference between the two different groups, except for the fact that uh, there's uh, five of the cuttings that were in soil that ended up rotting. And when I noticed they were having a hard time, when I ended up noticing they were rotting, I actually pulled them out of soil and put them in water, but none of them revived. There's one tiny little leaf coming out, so maybe it will survive. So, so far that's the biggest difference I've noticed is that with the soil, the cuttings seem a bit more likely to rot. So the next step is to weigh and measure the two groups to see if there's any significant difference between them. It does look like the cuttings in soil had a lot more variation in their length. Some really long ones, some really short ones, whereas the cuttings in water were a little bit more consistent. So it does look like soil propagation encourages a little bit more leaf growth than water propagation, but I actually still prefer water propagation for a few reasons. I like the water propagation method because it's a little bit cleaner and because you can actually see what's going on under the water with the roots. And most importantly, I didn't have any issues with rotting cuttings in the water like I did in the soil.